I was surprised that Mia arrived in an eBay box since I ordered her from Amazon, but I guess whatever. She arrived safe and sound. As you can see, the box was bubble wrapped and protected inside the shipping container. The box was protected from chafing by this uh, sleeve you can see, and that kept the box nice and neat. I don't keep the figures I order mint in box, but I do like to have the box in good shape so I can display it later on or just uh, repack it if I have to move. You can see the box is bright and colorful and does a real good job capturing Mia's exuberance and positivity. You can also see her hair is kind of flying everywhere. The figure's like that too, so this is a real good representation. As with the other figures I've purchased, Mia's figure was protected very well inside the box with uh, vacuum form plastic. It was protective, but it came apart very easily, so uh, it wasn't a hassle at all. I probably shouldn't have used an X-Acto knife so close to uh, a PVC statue, in retrospect. You notice the plastic was kind of between the, some of the moving parts. It did a really good job of protecting the statue from damage, but with that arm, it was just really difficult to get out. It was stuck up in there. I finally managed to work it free, but I was afraid I was going to pull her arm clean off. You see there's a lot of good detail. You see her scales, her hair is nice and flowing. It's a good gloss on her tail. Overall, it's a really nice statue, a lot of good detail. You can see her here compared with Rory and with Aqua. Uh, so she's good size. Weighs much more than the other two, though I wouldn't tell her I said that. And there's Emini to kind of complete the comparison. It's a good figure. It's well worth the price if you're a collector. 